How's it going, YouTube people? I wanted to talk a little bit about the Creighton 4S V2 and a little bit of issue I've had with the drive shaft. Um, fairly newer vehicle, I guess, but I couldn't find the drive shaft for it anywhere. It's out of stock in Horizon on Horizon's website. They're like eight bucks. They're cheap, but they won't be until April. And uh, what happened is a piece of gravel. You got, I think it got in between my motor and my drive shaft, and it just cut it in half, like it was on a lathe or something. But I wanted to get it fixed. I figured there's got to be something else I could do. I, I found one other drive shaft for sale. It was on eBay. And the dude wanted fifty bucks for it. I'm not spending fifty bucks on an eight dollar part just because it's not in stock. I understand supply and demand and all that stuff, but I'm just not stupid enough. I, I'll figure something else out. Anyway, I, I got the uh, the granite drive shaft. It's a little bit different. I could have probably just bought an outcast drive shaft and made it work because it's pretty much the same. It's just got the uh, short wheelbase. The other half of the drive shaft is for a short wheelbase truck. Well, I didn't break that. Bit. As you can see here, I broke the short end because it's between that motor and that part I, and I'd imagine I'm not the only one who's had this happen maybe I am maybe it was just that much of a freak thing but you can see it's it's just kind of a perfect valley for a little rock or something to get stuck in between that and it just ate it right there and so got the granite drive shaft and I put this half on my long wheelbase other half of the shaft and then I got this uh this high speed bearing thing, as you can see it there. I'll put a picture up in the video. I found it on eBay. I think it was like 15 bucks or something cheaper. I don't remember. Anyway, bought that thing thinking, well, I can just, you see the little honeycomb pattern in the frame underneath it? It fits down into that. And so I figured, yep, I'll just put it further down the line. And it worked out perfect. I had to use, I don't know, you might take a different approach. I just used a soldering iron and had to kind of flatten out a little bit of the chassis to get it to sink down so that it sat where it needed to. But overall, it was a really easy thing. Hell of a lot cheaper than spending 50 bucks. And yeah, it, it works great. So. If you find yourself in the same weird situation, there is another option. So anyway, it worked really well for me. There's probably a few other ways to skin that cat. I, I'm pretty sure that there is an aluminum drive shaft kit, but every video I've seen on it, every bit of information I could find on it says that it was crap. I think it was an Earl Moorhead video that I watched, and it was just sloppy, and I just, I'm like, no, not going to do it. And it seemed cheap enough. At first I was like, oh, cool, score. But I'm glad I looked into it because it looks like it was crap. Um, so far, this is tight. It's tough. It's working. I um, I took it out for a rip. It's, it's kicking some butt. It's, it's, it's not too tight that it's going to blow up that bearing. It's sitting just right. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that this turned out. If you know a cheaper or better way to skin this cat, please feel free to let me know in the comments, but me, I'm just so tickled with myself for figuring this out, I figured I'd share it with you. <laughs> well, it's really snowing here. I can't really get out and get much good running footage. I promise soon we'll, we'll get some cool videos made. I can't wait for spring. <laughs> you guys have a good one. Have a good week. Take care now. Bye-bye then.